Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. You know at this channel, we are a law abiding we are law abiding citizens. We do not support criminals or terrorists in any form because they are like parasites on the society. So in any way that the government can extinct them, you know, it's our job to help in that regard. So you know people say we're making up things to get views, but we are not about that, you know, we're all about facts. Facts that make liars squirm like worms because the truth, you know, the truth hurts like hell, like hell, you know. So that's what we're over here I'm all about, just to give you the truth. My credibility, my character, my ethics, my honesty and truthfulness, that is always on display at this channel. So we are not here at no time to mislead the audience. Always remember that. This channel, the Jamaica Young Police Channel, is an anti-criminal channel. And we are not here to mislead the, the public and the audience. My loyal viewers and subscribers, I respect you guys very much. My viewers and subscribers, that's not my job. My job is to educate, inform and edify the audience. And to change the people's mindset to stop embracing criminality and denounce it. Because you denounce it, denouncing criminality and turn and and push it aside or anyone who involved in it, that's a new beginning because that's what we want. Because criminals, you know, you have to understand that criminals are people that praise on other people because they think that they are strong and the other, other person or people are weak. And criminals want to be the mini government that no one elected to infringe on other people's rights. So you must do what they say, not what they do, but what they say. So they are supposed to kill anyone for you but you are not they they are not supposed to be killed by the security force or anyone else and you know that is totally wrong we don't support those kind of lifestyle so moving on yes there's a gang um, out of el salvador that is in central america um, its name is ms13 this gang operates within Central, South, and North America, and its leader and other members were arrested by the Department of Justice. Thirteen, and the gang leaders and its members were arrested and charged with RICO and terrorism offense. Since, let me repeat myself: there is a gang from South America. To be exact, El Salvador, and the the leaders, the leader, and members in the United States and other Latin American country were arrested and charged with terrorism and RICO offenses. So here, looking right now, you will see that is from the Department of um, Justice. The, the Department of Justice in the United States, that's the chief law enforcement department that handles all things to deal with federal crimes. So anytime the Justice Department go out to you, that's where the FBI works out of. Homeland Security and all those agencies. Lauder Hill Police don't work out of that agency. Lauder Hill Police work out of Lauder Hill Police Department. And in terms, they have a district attorney for the Broward County. This has nothing to do with Broward County or the state of Florida. This has to do with Uncle Sam, federal crimes. So I'm going to re I'm going to read to you word for word what the um, the indictment that the United States government had indict these. This is a gang, you know, not a, and they label them as terrorists. It's a gang, criminal gang that extort people and all kind of things. They sell drugs and everything. Um, they're into human trafficking and all kind and, you know, they, they make money from all kind of things. And they were creating havoc in El Salvador. And, you know, from there, you know, they, they, they would bring people from El Salvador to America to commit crimes. So that's how the leader 
and the other members were indicted and arrested and charged with RICO and terrorism offenses. So this is coming from Alexandra, Virginia. A federal indictment has been unsealed charging an MS MS-13 leader with racketeering, conspiracy, and conspiring to provide material support to terrorist base and his role as leader of La Mara Salvatrusa MS-13. The defendant, Armando Elu Melgar Diaz, 30, is the first MS-3 gang leader to face terrorism charges in the United States. In 2017, the president, Donald Trump, directed the Justice Department to go at war against MS-13 gang and its members. And, they, and we did just that, said Attorney General William Barr. In coordination with our Department of Homeland Security Partners, did you hear that? Department of Homeland Security Partners, that has to do with Yes, immigration, border patrol, the Coast Guard, and all those people. Yes, so that's why we, you know, we, we, we're telling you the points to show you to prove the offense of terrorism with the RICO charges for all these, all these players that came to the United States illegally. So that's why you don't see Uncle, Uncle Sam watching them, you know, and Uncle Sam knowing everything that they're doing. You understand? So, the Department of um, the, the Justice Department law enforcement components have su successfully investigated, charged, and arrest command and control elements of MS-13 responsible for the murder. The Joint Task Force Vulcan's operation, operations have significantly degraded MS-13 capabilities. While there is still work to be done, the Department of Justice remained committed to protecting Americans threat by MS-13, and we will not rest until we have successfully defeated this transnational criminal organization. MS-13 is a transnational gang of vicious predators that primarily preys on people and businesses in our nation's vibrant immigrant communities, said G. Sacre. Per Wil Wilger, U.S. Attorney for Eastern District of Virginia. Members of those communities should feel confident, as demonstrated today with this announcement that, that members and associates of MS-13 that commit violent acts here will be held accountable. Today's announcement are the result of tremendous teamwork and coordination between prosecutors and law enforcement officers across the United States and Central America, St. John Durham, Director of Joint Task Force Vulcan. MS-13 is a violent transnational criminal organization whose criminal activities respect no boundaries. The only way to defeat MS-13 is by targeting the organization, focusing on the leadership structure. And I want Squash and his friend to listen to this. Focusing and the leadership structure and deploying a whole of government approach against a common enemy. MS-13 has tens of thousands of members in the United States, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, and elsewhere. The organization is responsible for murders, extortion, violence, drug trafficking, human trafficking, and other crimes and has been designated as a terrorist organization by the government of El Salvador. So you see, so that's the terrorist right there. You understand? He's not coming out ever from prison. This, enforce, this in enforcement action sends a clear message that the FBI and our law enforcement partners represented on the violent gang Safe Street Task forces remain aggressive in investigating and dismantling gang activity and brings 
violence and fear into our communities, said Timothy R. Slater, assistant director in charge of the FBI Washington Field Office. We will use all available tools in our investigative and legal arsenal to dis disrupt MS-13 leadership, take these violent offenders off the street, and ultimately bring justice to the victim of these brutal acts. Homeland Security Investigators is committed to leveraging its unique cross-border authority to identify and bring justice to members of violent gangs and other transnational criminal organizations. Let me repeat this for the six fanatics and listen again. These, the authority, bar and Homeland Security investigators is committed to leveraging its unit cross-border authorities to identify and bring justice to members of violent gangs, not gang, you know, gangs, that mean more than one, and other transnational criminal organizations. And that is where Squash 6 Boss falls in, in right, right here, said Jerry Template, special agent in charge of Homeland Security Investigated Investigations, Nashville, Tennessee. These violent transnational criminal network threaten the safety and security of the law-abiding public. And Homeland Security investigators will continue to work with our federal, state, and local partners to identify and seek prosecution of these dangerous individuals. According to court documents, Melgar Diaz moved to the United States from El Salvador in 2003 and settled in Virginia. After moving to Virginia, he joined Gangsters, Locos, Sal Salvatrusos, also known as GLS Click, a click of MS-13. In February 2013, Melgar Diaz was, was deported to El Salvador, but illegally returned to the United States in August 2013. In November 2016, Melgar Diaz was once again deported to El Salvador. He resided in, Sel in, in El Salvador since 2016. After his return to El Salvador, Melgar Diaz allegedly continued to be active, to be an active member of MS-13. In approximately May 2017, Melgar Diaz allegedly became the corridor or leader of MS-13 East Coast program. As corridor, Melga Diaz oversaw the activities of, of approximately 20 MS-13 cliques in the United States, including Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, New York, Massachusetts, North Car New Jersey, California, Ohio, Rhode Island, Oklahoma, Louisiana, and the District of Columbia. Melga Diaz oversaw MS-13 activity internationally in El Salvador, Guatemala, and Mexico. Melgar Diaz allegedly coordinated financing for MS-13 by collecting dues and drug trafficking proceeds, aiding in trafficking cocaine and marijuana, facilitated communication between MS-13 leaders in El Salvador and cliques in the United States, and authorized acts of violence, including murder in the United States. So I want all of you people who are very sympathetic to squash, I want you to listen to this part again. You are, listen. Okay, listen to this part. It says, Melga Diaz allegedly coordinated finance for MS-13 by collecting dues and drug trafficking proceeds aided Traffic aiding in trafficking cocaine and marijuana, facilitating communication between MS-13 leaders in El Salvador and cliques in the United States, and authorized acts of violence in the United States, including murder. 
that points right to Mr. Squash right there. The money Melga Diaz alleges they received from members in the United States was used to support MS-13 violent activities in El Salvador, including purchasing weapons. Melga Diaz is currently in custody in El Salvador, where he is facing drug trafficking and conspiracy to commit murder charges. The Office of the Director of National Intelligence to coordinate a whole of government approach of dismantling transnational criminal organizations such as MS-13 and restore safety for the American people. In August 2019, Attorney General William Barr created Joint Task Force Vulcan to carry out the recommendation of the MS-13 subcommittee form under the Attorney General Transnational Organized Crime Task Force, which was the result of President Trump's Yes, which was a result of President Trump February 2017 executive order. And that order is still there because Joe Biden has not rescinded it. So it's still in force to arrest and charge Squash and his friends with being terrorists and under the RICO law. Exe the executive order directing the Department of the Department of Justice, State and Homeland Security, principal purpose of the Joint Task Force Vulcan is to coordinate and lead the efforts of the Justice Department and US law enforcement agency against MS-13 to dismantle the group. The Joint Task Force Vulcan has successfully implemented the whole government approach to law enforcement relating to MS-13, increased coordination and collaboration with foreign law enforcement part partners, including El Salvador, Mexico, Honduras, and Guatemala. Um, I, I wonder if you remember the other day when um, there was this person, who, um, this man who, were, who was a part of, you know, Broward County, um, you know, government hierarchy and he, you know, said that he just returned from Jamaica. What do you think that he went down there for? It's because of the criminals that operate in, in America, you know, that are from J Jamaica and especially those from Montego Bay. Yeah, and that's because of things that have been ongoing. So they wanted to know about um, these people's background and, you know, the necessary information. So that's why they said it's a target, targeted prosecution and coordinated significant MS-13 indictment in the United States Attorney General Office across the country such as the Eastern District of New York Eastern District of Virginia and District of Nevada Federal Prosecutor from the Department of Justice National Security Div Division and Criminal Division as well as 10 United States Attorney Office have been assigned to serve the Joint Task Force Vulcan in full cap capacities. The Eastern District of Eastern District of New York, the Eastern District of Virginia, the District of Nevada, the Southern District of California, the District of Massachusetts, the Northern District of Ohio, the District of New Jersey, the Eastern District of Texas, the District of Utah, and the District of Columbia, which is Washington D.C. In addition. All Department of Justice law enforcement agency are involved in the effort. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, the Drug Enforcement Agency, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearm Explosive, the U.S. Marshal Service, and the Bureau of Prison, Prisons, the Department of Homeland Security, in security. Investigation investigations also played a critical role in Joint Task Force Vulcan. G. Zachary Ter Williger, U.S. Attorney for Eastern District of Virginia, Timothy R. Slater, Assistant Director in Charge of FBI Washington Field Office, and Terry Template, Special Agent in Charge of Homeland Security Investigation, Nashville announced after the indictment was unsealed. Terry Williger would like to thank John Demers, 
Atter Assistant Attorney General for National Security, and Brian Rabbit, Acting Assistant Attorney General for the Criminal Division for their assistance with this case, Terry Williger, also recognized the following U.S. Attorney for their assistance in this prosecution, Donald Q. Cochran, U.S. Attorney for the Middle District of Tennessee, Ryan K. Patrick, U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of Texas, Erin Neely Cox, U.S. Attorney for the Northern District of Texas, and R. Andrew Murray, U.S. Attorney for the Western District of North Carolina. Terry Ter Williger would also like to thank Attorney General Raul Melara of El Salvador for the assistance of his office in the investigation as well as investigators from El Salvador, Policia, National Civil, Centro, Anti, Pandilia, Transnational, that's CAT and PNC unit for their assistance. Special Assistant U.S. Attorney Kevin L. Rosenberg and Matthew W. Shepard and Assistant U.S. Attorney Nicholas J. Patterson are prosecuting the case. A copy of the press release is really is on the website of the U.S. Attorney Office for Eastern District of Virginia. Related court documents and information are located on the website of the District Court. Eastern District of Virginia by searching. And here's the case number for squash. So you can look it up to see what is coming for you. And here's the case number. Case number 120-CR-103. An indictment is merely an accusation. The defendant is presumed innocent until proven guilty. So there it is, uh, my loyal viewers and subscribers. Those are all the ingredients to arrest and charge these men for re under the RICO Act and terrorism because he had brought these illegal immigrants into the United States of America with one sole purpose, to commit crimes and terrorize American citizens. There is no other way around it. And we can't, we're not going to sugarcoat it or make it nice for Squash and his friends. Squash, the only thing you can plan is who's going to take it like a shatter? Death penalty or life? Who's going to do it? Because that is what is coming in the federal government can go for the death penalty because you kill American citizens and you guys are not American citizens and, you, and the illegal immigrants that came here via the, um, the sea, that's Department of Homeland Security right there, which has to do with the Coast Guard and you understand. So you guys are in a serious picker. If you have Yes. If you're, you know, looking, looking right now on the screen, you will see that um, Squash had cleaned his Instagram account. Zero posts. I remember the man have over 600 and 600 and had thousand people, you know, over 600,000 subscribers he has to his um, Instagram account. And the man wiped it clean. But in case, um, just to inform you, Squash, Anything to do with the internet. The internet is controlled by Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam is the one that built the internet. Yes. The internet was built by Uncle Sam, the military. And you can, you know, go back and, you know, it's not everything I'm going to educate. Sometimes you have to do a little research for yourself. So whatever is on the internet, you cannot delete it. You clean your account. Instagram have a backup of it. So might as well you had you had done that. That only shows that you're worried. And don't think that you know the feds is loving it because they like to watch people from a distance, you know, until they're ready to come and get you. You understand? So what you have done, you just you just show that you're really worried. Because you know what you have done. There's a thing they call guilty conscience, you know, and that is what killing you. You know what you did. And you know what you have done. So that's that's why you are doing all of those things. And they are taking note. Why you scrub your accounts? You shouldn't scrub your accounts. They have everything already. It's only just just 
the same way that um the access J Man account. Don't you know that J Man told him everything? You understand? J Man told him everything, you know, because he's the one that told the cops his correct name. Although he told him that, but they used Border Patrol to identify him. And then, you know, he point out everyone who was, who was on the, the video in the shooting. So don't um, watch because he's a third, um, his public defender, which is paid by the American people. He's not getting paid from from G, from G man or uh, from you, Squash. So it's just nonsensical of what you, what you are doing, scrubbing your account, because it's Uncle Sam already have everything. To my loyal viewers and subscribers, yes, thanks for continuing the journey with us, you know, as an anti-criminal uh, channel. Our job is to continue to educate, edify, and inform our audience when it comes down to criminality and how to protect yourself from them. We don't want any of you guys to be sympathetic to criminals, irrespective of what happened to them. Yes, we know that they are human beings, but some human beings are like trash, garbage. You just throw them in the can, so that's how it is. If you haven't subscribed to the channel just yet, this is the time for you to subscribe. It doesn't cost a penny, a cent, a dollar, a dime, nothing. It's free. And most of all, it's not going to clog your phone memory. When I say clog, it's not going to make your phone full. Your phone memory full and you cannot do anything. Just click the subscription button. Click the like button and click all when you click on the bell. And as soon as this channel releases a video, you'll be the first one to get the notification. This is the second video that we'll go over um, the limited time because we know that most guys, most people are attention span is like half a goldfish. No insult to others. Um, you know, I've received messages from others that they, they don't mind the long video, but you know, in life, there's a thing that called majority rule. Majority of the people, they will watch the video for like 10 minutes. It's called data and analyst, analytical evidence. So that's what, you know, at this channel, you know, you know, we we'll follow, we we'll follow the data. Thanks again for watching the Jamaica Young Police channel. Have yourself a beautiful day. One love. Squash. It's just a matter of time, my brother, you know. Just, just stay posted. And make sure, you know, um, when the cops, when the feds come, because they come in with the SWAT team, you know. Because they know that you guys are violent people. And if you shift, and if you don't want to go to a workhouse, you understand. So all the best. And you take care of yourself you now. Um, enjoy your time out here, because it's coming close enough. You know?